Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. It's now showing you how to fix the black screen in OBS. I'm going to show you a couple of methods, what are more simpler ones, and then I'm going to go more in detail for the more complicated uh, ways of doing it. So anyway, actually going to jump right in. Actually, the first thing you can do is when you go over the app, the application on my desktop, you can right click on it. Then you go to priorities. As you can see, there's a tab that's called advanced. Now, I actually want to click on it. And as you can see, there's it's unchecked, but you can actually check it as run as administrator. Uh, so this is actually to avoid that every time you run OBS, you actually need to do run as administrator. You can actually do it like this. So make sure that that's checked. Then you actually want to go over to another tab, which is uh, compatibility. Now here you can also see that if you go down here, there will also be a run as administrator checkbox. So also make sure that that one is checked as well. So as I said, when every time you do launch OBS, you won't have to click right click every time do run as administrator. You can actually do it automatically right now by checking these boxes. So very important. That could be a fix. Next one, as I said, it's a more simpler one, but definitely is important one. It's actually when you add a scene. So you can do that by right clicking. You do add. And when you're actually doing out, you can see a couple of options here. I would generally do window capture for my uh, yeah, window screen. And of course, the other one would be like game capture. So you can actually name it whatever you want. What would be the most important thing to do here is really to just select a specific window to record and actually also make sure that when you select it, uh, a specific window that you actually also make sure that the game is running. So when the game is actually running, uh, even though it's in the background, that you actually select the game that in question so that it actually will focus and only record that screen. So that's a very important detail about the uh, game capture. So make sure that you always select as well the game that needs to be running. And for the rest, you also have a couple of options, but as you can see, nothing really too much to add. Now, this is the next problem. It's a bit small, but the small problems, you know, they can be in a small corner, so um, they can really make a big change. In this case, of course, uh, fixing the black screen. So there's a little eye icon that's actually here, right here, as you can see. If you actually click on it, this is, for example, when you have multiple sources and you need to remove one or add one, you can do hide. It's basically a hide button. So make sure that if there's something that's missing, it's selected like this when you can actually see the eye that something is recording. Next one is very important. Uh, that's actually transform. So there could be a case where you actually accidentally touch the corners or you just accidentally completely drag out the recording out of the preview zone. And in that case, when that happens, it's actually very uh, important that you go to the uh, recording itself. You do right click, you go to transform. And when I actually here in transform, you have actually two options, which is the reset transform and the fit to screen one. So either if you're using fit to screen or reset transform, it actually really does the same thing in the end, but I definitely advise you to use both of these to make sure that uh, it could potentially fix the black screen. So this is, as I said, this is from when you were accidentally completely dragged out the recording or it's way too small to see or something that you might have accidentally done. You can now do to actually reset the transform or just fit the screen again if it's lost somewhere out of the preview zone. Another one would be display. So I actually have, I only have one monitor and one display. It's a 24 inch screen. So 920 by 1080. And this makes sure that you actually have selected the right screen this could be an option of if you have your laptop, for example, or if you have multiple monitors, make sure that the right one is selected. And last but definitely not least, there's actually an option which is profile up here. I only have one, but you can definitely have multiple ones. I don't really advise to use multiple ones, but that's, it's completely up to you if you want to use multiple ones. I only have one. I only have one profile. It's literally just called uh, Untitled. So I really just use one, but uh, there are people who tend to use more and uh, then they can definitely go into a problem where they accidentally select the wrong profile and they're searching for all these solutions like I just went over and they just completely forget to put it back to their profile or to the profile, the main one that they use. I never encounter this problem, but if you have different ones, definitely be sure to look into that uh, to make sure that you have the right one selected. Anyway, I gave as much fixes here as possible from the more simpler ones to the some harder complicated ones to find. And now if you have any other questions, you can just go down in the comments and leave them below. I'll answer you. For that, I really hoped this video helped and you enjoyed it. Please, if you like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.